Hello. You have been received this presentation because you have raised concern about the new title plan that's going in, and I am here to talk to you about why this is a very safe, renewable, and green energy project put on by the by BC. So, title energy. Is it safe? Let's find out. Well, what is it? As you can see from this diagram, you can see the tide going in and you can see the tide going out. And there's a little definition right there. Now, don't worry if you can't see it. We've enlarged it and put the key points. So, as the tide comes in and again when it goes out, the turbines are driven by the power of the sea in both directions. Now, there are three types of tidal energy. Were you aware of that? There's tidal barrages. Tidal barrages are more like hydroelectric dams. You use a dam to block the water and control when and where the water passes. The water passing through turns a turbine. The only difference is that the turbine is spun by the oncoming and outgoing tide. This has a higher environmental impact. Next, you have tidal turbines. Tidal turbines are turbines that sit in the water and are turned by the incoming and outgoing tide. This is a picture of a tidal turbine in the water. The environmental impact of a tidal little turbine is about medium. Next, there's tidal fences. Tidal fences are like tidal turbines. The difference is that tidal fences use softer materials for their propellers and are lined up to create a fence. Due to the soft material, the tidal fences have a lower impact on the environment compared to the other two. When I say lower impact, just so you know, I'm comparing it to the other two forms. For instance, tidal barrages may have a lower environmental impact than most other sources of energy, but compared to tidal fences, it's a higher environmental impact. So, which one do you think we're using? If you thought tidal barrages, you would be wrong. As well, we are not using tidal fences. We are using tidal turbines. They create enough energy while not disrupting the environment too much. So how does tidal, tidal electricity produce energy? So, the turbine is spun by the incoming and outgoing tide. The turbine spins a larger copper wire in a magnet which creates electricity. The electricity is stored in a generator, and then you folks use the electricity in your homes. Here's a picture showing the propeller turning, which is turning the wire inside the pole. What are the social, economic, and environmental advantages and disadvantages? Let's talk social first. The advantages socially are that some Canadian companies are now developing tidal current generators, as we have an east coast and a west coast, both with very strong tides. This creates many jobs in the community, and there's more energy being created, which means the cost of energy will be lower. The, um, creating more jobs and making the energy less expensive is a great thing to do for an economy. It really creates a sustainable economy in that people are making more money and spending less of it. That's basically a utopian economy. There are some disadvantages. There have been large protests from economists like yourselves protesting um, the hurt on the environment that this may cause. And it could interfere with fishing as wildlife is being disturbed. Let's move on to economic. The advantages economically are that tides are completely predictable and therefore make reliable power. One thing that's great about tidal power is it's one of the few renewable resources that is reliable. For instance, solar power is not as reliable because you never know when the sun will come out or when it won't come out, whereas there's always going to be a tide. Do you know there's a tidal energy plant in the Bay of Fundy between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia that can potentially produce as much as 30,000 megawatts of energy? And it's cheaper to maintain than other sources of energy, which is always good because we won't be, we'll be able to cut costs down and make the electricity even cheaper for you. Now, there are some disadvantages as well. Compared to solar panel, tidal turbines are very expensive to buy and to set up. They're $735,000 compared to $600,000 for solar panels. Let's move on to environmental, which is why you're all here. The advantages. Tidal um, current and turbines have low environmental impacts. They're better for the environment compared to any leading form of energy, such as fossil fuels, which pollutes the air, and nuclear, which produces poisonous waste. There are some disadvantages. Lots of turbines needed to power, so could disrupt wildlife more than anticipated. This could range from 50 to 200 turbines. There's also a 20 to 80% mortality rate of fish passing through the turbine. This is not to say that 20 to 80% of the fish will die, 
but the ones that do hit the turbine instead of going around, there's a 20 to 80% chance they will die, which is unfortunate. Now, we ask this question to you in focus groups. Is this energy going to produce enough energy for the amount of, of damage to the environment it will have? Basically, is it worth it? So some of the things you said was, no, there's a lot of, being, of damage being done to the environment to even consider it. However, we considered this and we said, yes, it will be enough. Just, it, it, yes, it is important. It will be enough to stop fossil fuels in the near future. By stopping fossil fuels, we can stop air pollution and we can stop drilling into the earth. Then we can later focus on um, creating better technology to stop hurting the fish. But I think our main focus is to stop fossil fuels as we are damaging our environment at a rapid rate. Another thing you guys said was that it could damage the economy by stopping the fish that fishers catch from passing through and interrupting the mating cycles of fish. But did you know that fish will still be able to pass just a little slower as they'll have to dodge a bit around the turbines? Um, but that won't have that large of an effect on it. If you don't believe us, there, did you know that there has been a tidal plant in France since 1966 that has cut down on their fossil fuel consumption? There has been no serious ecological changes either, and that's with technology much more outdated than the technology we will be using. Thank you. We hope you see tidal energy as a step in the green energy revolution of 2014 like we do.